Hey G fans, GojiFan93 here, and it is a box day today. Alright, so I've actually been anticipating this guy uh, for a couple days because Labor Day passed, and of course, like always, uh, every time I get something from Hobby Search, um, they, the U USPS guy always comes over and decides that we're not home and decides to go back to the post office and drops the packages off there, so I always get the pink slip of death. And I have to go to the post office and deal with that. And oh my god, there was a huge line at the post office. It was really annoying. There were like two customers there that were just being assholes to the uh, employees. And I hate that because it's annoying because it takes up time and people just get worked up over the smallest things. And it's just like, ugh. But anyways. Okay, on to the figure itself. Haha, <laughs> okay. It's going to be pretty cool. So, what we have today is the new, never, this isn't a reissue or anything, this is a brand spanking new figure from X Plus. We have the 25 centimeter Gamacarus figure, 1967? Uh, yeah, from uh, Son of Godzilla. So, now I will say, full disclaimer, that uh, this is not my all time favorite monster. This is, in fact, probably one of my least favorite monsters. Um, but, if you guys have been hearing me in my past couple videos when I talk about like my collection wise, um, even though I don't necessarily like the monster, I still want a figure represent representation of the character, um, and to me X Plus is like the best to do that, and I want to get every character with every incarnation, um, you know, like the highest accurate looking figure that's on the market. So. Right now, I'd probably, I mean, pro there's maybe like a model kit of, or something of Gabacris, but um, for, for me at least, you know, because I don't feel like building model kits. So, where I'm at, X Plus is pretty much the best thing to do. Oh, wow. He has like little antenna things sticking out, and that could easily have been damaged. But luckily, he looks pretty intact here, so um, he's really big, actually. He's bigger than I than I thought he'd be. Um, there were a couple of collectors that were already posting pictures and uh, they were saying like, you know, wow, this guy does, he's a lot bigger than we thought. And actually there's a, the Rick version of this guy uh, comes with three Gamacris size, Gamacris, I don't even know if that's a thing, but um, because in the movie there was three Gamacris monsters there attacking uh, Minya or Manila, whatever, the son of Godzilla, the abomination that we all know, um, but all of the figures looked the same, like all three of them had the same pose and everything, like there was nothing different about any of them, so I'm like, well I'm not gonna waste my money buying three of the same figures, so I'm just gonna get one, because all I need is just one representation of the character and I'm good. Okay, good, oh, that was actually easier, easy to get right there, okay. There's that front part. Okay. So here he is coming out of the packaging. I need to get one more tie wrap. Um, and he should come with a stand. Okay, there's the stand. Because uh, I guess this guy really can't stand on his own. So he has a little stand that he uh, can can sit on so that he doesn't fall over. But, uh, but hey, he looks pretty nice though. Definitely, uh, definitely X plus looking, that's for sure. So he's good, okay. All right, taking him out here, and there he is, all right. Yeah, there's Gamacris. I might have a little bit more appreciation for the character because I'm able to like actually see him for all of his, for all of his glory. And I heard that he's very posed, like this is actually one of the more posable X Plus figures, like at least articulation wise, he can move his, his head. His head actually feels a little bit loose. Don't know if I really like that. Yeah, I don't want to mess with that. That looks like a ball joint, actually. This, I think it's like a ball joint on, on his head there. That's kind of interesting. I've never really seen an X Plus figure with ball joints. But, uh, there's his feet. You can pose pose that. Oh, that's kind of cool. At least, yeah, that's, that's pretty interesting how X Plus wanted to really make him feel a little bit more posable. Um, Alright, now to get the uh, stand. Let's get the stand out here. So this is the stand that it comes with, little, uh, little decorative, somewhat decorative stand, it's not too detailed or anything like that, but basically 
what you do is you just put Gamakris on on it like that. You just kind of connect him there and then he's able to to stand and you don't got to worry about him falling over or anything like that. Um, I got to figure out though the best kind of way to like pose him so that he can like stand at least relatively good on my shelf but um, so yeah not really too big of a shelf hog which is nice but um, yeah there there he is so pretty cool all right well um, yeah that is my unboxing of the 25 centimeter Gamacris X Plus this is a brand new release from X Plus so he just came out this month yeah he came out in August but everyone is starting to get theirs in, in September so um, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Stay big G fans.